Hey everyone, this is PhD Natural Me and welcome back to my channel. I'm going to talk today about getting your vegetables in. Thank you for those who have subscribed. If you haven't subscribed, please click that like button. Click that subscribe button before I get into talking about veggies. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to get your vegetables in and I watched how Dr. Eric Berg explained different ways to get your vegetables in and I use a few of these methods too because it makes it a little bit easier to get in the amount of vegetables that you need to, to intake per day. Now he recommends seven to ten cups per day. I go by total grams of carbohydrates because that works for me. I can easily overeat on vegetables and and it will cause me to slip and I don't want to do that. So today I want to talk about collard greens and kale. I threw collards and kale in my instant pot and I needed warm vegetables. It is cool out. That's why I ended up double scarfing today because it's a little bit cool out and I like to keep my neck warm because the rest of me stays warm. It's like my vegetables. I can eat cold vegetables when it's warm out and I'm okay. I don't know why that it is like that but it does. Warm vegetables when it's cold out and in the crock pot like I said 85 grams is a serving. For the collard greens, two cups uncooked, that would be 85 grams. That comes up to about five grams of carbohydrates per cup, per two cups. And for kale, it's nine grams of carbohydrate for two cups. But when you cook that down, if you've ever cooked greens, or if you've never cooked greens, you think you get this really big bag that that's what you're going to get as the end result if you're cooking them. It's not. It cooks down to nothing. So try not to cook them like until they're completely dead. I think that's a southern thing to do. And no offense to anybody. I like cooked greens and I, I, I cook them well. Uncooked, but you know, southern greens cooked down. Cooking for hours. Mmm. But I have an instant pot, so it's not cooking for hours, just for a little bit of time. Love that thing. But if you have cooked vegetables and you want to measure it out, it's about a half a cup, 85 grams. And since they're mixed, I just took the total grams of the carbs for the collars and the kale. So that comes up to 14 grams. If you eat a whole cup, that's 14 grams. If you eat a half a cup, that's seven. I like to do seven. A half a cup is plenty with some hot sauce and some vinegar on it. Mm. It's really good. But it's a way to get in your vegetables. So just think, if you have one cup of that, that's like you, you've eaten four cups of vegetables. Now you can eat something a little bit later that will add and keep your carbs below the 20 if that's your goal. But those are ways to get in your vegetables. Another way to get in your vegetable, you can chop it up. If you've ever gone to Subway and ordered a salad, they'll put all your vegetables in and then they use this chopper and they chop it up. That will help reduce the quantity of it so it doesn't seem overwhelming. And you can get that in and digest that pretty well. So there's plenty of different ways. You can juice it. I'm not a big juicer anymore. I used to juice a lot of my vegetables but I like to eat and chew so I don't do that anymore. But if I'm struggling and that's the only way to do it I'm doing it. So make sure you get your vegetables in. Don't overdo it with the vegetables but don't underdo it either. Stay healthy. Keep eating keto. Bye. How do you get your vegetables in? I'd love to know. Bye. Thank you so much for watching. 
If you like what you've seen, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell so that you won't miss any of my videos. Stay healthy and keep eating keto. Bye-bye.